inside. It isn't really that often that I find myself truly excited for a game that I know nothing about. Such games in the past include The Last of Us, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, and Alien Isolation, all for their own individual reasons. Whether it's due to a developer I trust, or it's an IP that I hold close to my heart. Another example is Inside, and my reason for being excited about this is due to the fact that, up until this point, Playdead Studios had only made a single contribution to gaming. Limbo. After playing that, I was pretty confident that Play Dead knew what they were doing, because I really, really enjoyed Limbo, and news of a sequel or spiritual successor a few years ago had me champing at the bit. Is it, is it, is it champing at the bit or chomping? They both sound equally stupid. And then finally, E3 2014, boom, Limbo sequel, out of nowhere. What, 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 what is happening? Looks like maybe not because it's called Inside and not Limbo 2, but it pretty much looks like Limbo 2, who knows? So anyway, after multiple delays, it's finally out and I've finally played it, so what do I finally think? Let's finally find out, shall we? We shall, let's do this already. Similarly to Limbo, Inside is a pretty minimalist game. Neither game really gives you much to go on in the way of story, all you really know for the most part is that you're a kid in a horrible world that doesn't really want to die and likes running from the left to the right of the screen. But while I think that Limbo was slightly more direct in the story it was trying to tell, I feel like Inside has a lot more to interpret, especially in the later stages of the game. There are definite themes throughout of social hierarchy, totalitarianism, tossing back and forth the idea of free will and what it means to govern that and dictate subservience over a large group of people. There are some things that you don't really have to look too far into to notice, but other things that rely a little bit more on well, wild interpretation, really. Like, I've seen so many analyses and perspectives and theories about what certain parts could mean, where it just feels like there's no real connecting thread between one strange event to another. With Limbo taking place in, well, Limbo, it played with the idea that things didn't really need to make sense. You are in the afterlife, after all. But in Inside, it does kind of feel like it goes from telling some kind of pseudo-narrative to just giving you some crazy weird imagery with no real payoff at the detriment of that pseudo-narrative narrative, and I did have a bit of trouble jungling both at times. I don't know, it's it's certain things where it's like they wanted to create a world, but at the same time they wanted to make another game like Limbo that had no rules, and I don't know if it really can do both. Saying that though, the imagery of the game is still really, really nice. I don't think the game really stands out to me on a stylistic level quite like Limbo does, but I guess that's part of going 3D. Inside does a pretty good job of keeping you hooked from start to finish. It's cinematic, terrifying, and the puzzles are all pretty effective. They definitely do seem quite a lot more refined than Limbo's puzzles did. I don't know, maybe I was just an idiot when I first played Limbo, but the puzzles did tend to get a bit annoying after a while, both in terms of difficulty and the balance between the puzzles and the action-y, platform-y bits. I don't remember a single point in Inside where the game really stumped me and forced me to take a break. Not to say that it was easy by any means, but that it was designed intuitively and effectively to guide you to where you need to go, instead of just being like, alright, I can't Oh my god, what do I do? There are also quite a few sections in this game that were very reminiscent of Oddworld, solving puzzles throughout the game, saving people along the way, sometimes even controlling their minds to get them to help you out. It's a cool little thing that separates the game from Limbo a little bit more, making it feel more reminiscent of a 2D adventure game than a run from left to right until you win kind of game. Not that Limbo is that. I guess that was a crappy uh, metaphor analogy allegory, simile, comparison. <laughs> Throughout my time playing Inside, there was one thought that kept appearing in my mind, and that was the nagging thought that Inside didn't really seem that memorable. Whenever I think of Limbo, I'm like, oh yeah, the bloody spider chase, iconic. But I hadn't really come across anything that made me think, oh yeah, Inside, you know, the game with the blank. But without spoiling anything, of course, the game definitely makes amends to that. I was not expecting quite a few things that appeared in this game, some of which range from being creepy to Lovecraftian levels of horror. I'm not sure if it quite reaches the levels of the spider chase from Limbo, but it was still pretty goddamn cool. The entire game has such a cool atmosphere about it, the feeling that you're in an environment that you really shouldn't be 
in never really leaves you. And it really, really does make the most of its three hour runtime because even though that is quite short, it doesn't ever stop throwing new things at you to keep you feeling uneasy the whole time. I'm not quite sure if I would rate Inside as a masterpiece necessarily, but I'd say it's definitely up there with Limbo and is a game that will no doubt be playing back in my mind for years to come. Also on a side note, I really like how they handled the music in this game. Instead of having a conventional soundtrack, the quote-unquote score was always being created by an object on screen. Like, for example, near the beginning of the game, uh, there's a puzzle where you have to turn this machinery on, and the machine itself creates a nice little rhythmic beat. It, it sounds cool. And um, what I thought was music making me panic was actually this train in the background making me feel tense. A barrel that rolls towards you creates a rhythmic rhythm, for lack of a better word, to make you panic even more. There are a lot of examples of this, but I can't really remember now because I'm going off the top of my head. But yeah, that's another cool part that I really thought was really, really cool. But yeah, that's it. That's inside the end.